Hello and welcome to a series of videos on how to use the semi auto chemistry analyzer. Okay, usually when you buy this machine, it comes with a packing list. So let me show you the packing list. It's a sheet of paper that tells you all the items you are to expect in the shipping that you have just received. So in the packing list, we have the machine itself which is uh, what we have here. So this is the um, semi-auto chemistry analyzer. Okay. And then we have the power line and then the 12 volt DC power supply. So that's basically um, this one and then the adapter, which is here, which I have connected like that. Okay. Then you have a stylus and a thermosensitive paper so here we have we have the stylus here and then we, we put the thermosensitive paper here uh, mine is finished but if you have some you put it here it's basically for printing okay then let's see again you have your spare pump and waste bottle so uh, here is my spare pump is provided by the manufacturer and then you have your waste bottle here okay and then you have your um, operational manual which is here operational manual and then you have a packing list which is this you have your certificate so this is the certificate this how it comes like just to satisfy that everything is fine and then you have a lamp company that's an extra lamp that you have here so that in case the lamp inside there gets burned out you can use this extra one and so this is how it looks like it's a lamp okay so that's an extra lamp here that you actually fix into the machine okay so in this video i'm basically going to teach you how to uh, start this analyzer and some of the important uh, maintenance procedures you have to take to make sure that your results are quality your results are reproducible and so that will be the focus of this video so basically this is the analyzer um, this is the screen the LCD screen that displays um, your results and any other thing that has to be displayed this is where you put your uh, paper and this is basically for incubation at 37 degrees Celsius and these are timers that you use and they have an alarm system in there so when you set a time and it's up the alarm will blow to notify you and then we have a waste bottle here and this tube as well moves the waste from inside the analyzer into the bottle and then you have your aspirating button and then this is your fuel cell tube. Okay, so I'll put it on and then we'll move from there. So I'll first put it on here, which is on already. And then there's a power button behind. So let's go behind. Okay, so that's the power button here. I'll put it on. This is an uh, RS-23 port so that you can connect it to a computer. So, um, so I'll put it on here. Okay, so when you put it on, this is how it shows. And basically it will preheat for um, 10 minutes. So currently it's in the preheating mode. Good. So you have to wait for 10 minutes for the preheating to okay. It will preheat to a temperature of 37 degrees Celsius which will be displayed here after the 10 minutes. Okay, but I want us to go to the maintenance part of the machine so that I teach you a few things and then we move on. So I'll click on the cancel so that I can get into the main menu. Okay, so that's the main menu in your view here. We have the project or program project. We have test to use flow cell. We have the QC, we have the other services, we have the sample report, we have test use cuvette, 
we have the system set and then we have the power button i'll take you through all these uh, as we journey through this series but uh, in this first series i want you to take you through the maintenance procedure and as i already mentioned this one is very important to make sure that your results are correct to make sure that the machine is in its right mode to do measurements for you okay so i've we'll go to the maintenance part which is at the order service so you click on the other services so i click on when you click on the other set you have your zero setting you have your wash you have a absorbance test and then you have your dark carrot so you are supposed to do all these mm, to ensure that uh, everything is working well so the first thing i'm going to do i'm going to do my prerequisite washing so i'll click on the wash and then i'll aspirate the cleaning solution in this case i'm using um, alcohol so i have my alcohol here so i'm going to aspirate this twice and then i'll do same for uh, deionized water so I'm putting it inside. Okay. And then you click on the aspirate button like that. Then it will begin to aspirate alcohol. So as it displays washing here. So you wait patiently until it's done and then you realize that it will be aspirating in here okay so you do this procedure twice but for just demonstration sake i'll do only once okay so after you do this you put it aside and then you take your deionized water yeah and then you also do the same okay so cleaning finished you click on return and then you click on wash again and then you aspirate um, the di water okay so the same thing we are going to put it in there and then we do the aspiration So it's aspirating and washing. So you do this for alcohol and do this for the deionized water or distilled water as we know it. So this is the first maintenance procedure that you're supposed to do. Anytime you put on the machine for the first time, you are supposed to actually carry out this procedure. It's very, very important for the machine. Okay, so it's done. Okay. So again, I'll click on return. So we are done with our washing, which is prerequisite when you are starting any, um, when you are starting your daily work, basically. Then from here, you can do your dark current. So you click on your dark current and then once you click on it it will begin to measure the dark current for um, all the different wavelengths so we have uh, the 340 nanometer wavelength up to the 630 nanometer wavelength and the range should be um, between 10 to 50 if it's above or too low than the range of 10 to 50 then there's a problem then you have to um, work on it. Okay, so once my dark current is okay, I'll click on save and then it will automatically return. So after you are dark, done with your dark current, you do your zero setting. So you click on the zero setting and then it will tell you to aspirate um, distilled water. Okay, so I'll quickly um, do that. 
my distilled water here is finished and so i'll pour some in there oh, let me see whether i have another one in my drawer okay it's also finished so let me get some quickly in this that I'm going to use. So gently pour some in there. Okay. So you come back and then as usual you put it in there and then you click on it. And then it will begin to aspirate so we are doing our zero setting for all the wavelength from 340 to for 630 nanometers and so it will measure the zero or it will do the zero setting for all the wavelengths and the range should be between um, 18,000 to 29,000 if it's beyond or too low it means that probably the, um, there are some air bubbles within the flow cell and so what you do is that you aspirate some alcohol and then you come and do a retesting until the measurements are within the specified range. okay so it's done so you click on save but uh, as you see here the five seven eight nanometer wavelength has displayed thirty thousand and twenty it means it's above the normal so it means that the um, we have to quickly aspirate the uh, alcohol to make sure that there are no air bubbles within the uh, flow cell okay so i'll quickly return and then we'll go to the wash side and then do that but before that i want us to um, do our absorbance testing you click on the absorbance and then it will ask you for your password so you put in your password The password is usually in the uh, operational manual, so it will be there. You can edit it later. So it will ask you to aspirate um, a sample. That's the DI water. So I'm going ahead to aspirate it. Okay, so it will test the absorbance of distilled water and then the curve should not exceed the grid here so if the curve doesn't exceed the grid then you are good to go so you can do this for all the wavelength you can do this for all the wavelength so from here you actually you can select the different wavelength up to 630 and then when you select the wavelength you confirm and then you are spirit so you do this and then it will measure or it will do your absorbance stability test for you. So you have to ensure that this uh, curve here does not exceed the grid line. If it doesn't exceed it, then you are good to go. So I think when you are done, you, when the absorbance testing is done, you can return back to your main menu. So I think um, we'll end this video here so that it wouldn't be too long, but basically, this is what you are supposed to do and uh, when i did my um zero setting one was high because i didn't allow the machine to fully incubate and so when you are doing some take note of some of these technicalities so that your machine can be in the right um shall i say mind to give you quality results and so we'll end this video here and then we'll continue with part two